everyone, Mac is back. You might have noticed a new event that just came out uh, after the uh, update that just went through, and it's the Night King invasion. We've all expected this. We just we weren't sure exactly what was going to happen, but uh, I'm going to go over the rules of it. I'm going to show you around, show you some reports, and just kind of give you some uh, basic idea of what needs to be done, what can be done, what rewards you can get, and kind of go from there. So let's get to it. So the first thing you'll notice is when you click on the icon, you'll come to this page and where it says White Walker Invasion. If you click on that, this is like kind of your daily quest. Uh, we're not daily quests. Well, these are daily quests, but they were um, very similar to the, you know, the quest we have to do for we kill rebel leaders, rebel groups and whatnot for about a, you know, two to three day period. So, um, but these ones actually reset every day. So basically you want to make sure you kill white walkers there's looks like 20,000 is the minimum that you want to kill here to get these rewards and then you also want to defeat rebel groups um, and then you want to eliminate two rebel camps and then you want to train about you know 10,000 troops a day so make sure that you have enough speed ups to be able to do that because that or or even to just uh, kind of wait on it and just train some tier ones or something like that 10,000 of those because you're actually going to use some tier ones in this event now looking at the night king invasion Kind of some uh, cool an animation there. Um, now, there's going to be an, um, some type of, it looks like the White Walker is going to attack here in a, in a little over five minutes. I'm kind of curious to see what that actually entails, if it's just them moving further south or whatnot as well. So um, going over the rules, and I wanna, I'm, I'm only going to go over this as quick, uh, very quickly, but uh, basically, you know, as the show was, the, the Night King came through the wall and is coming south, and now we have to go fight them. So there are castles up there that are, are bases of... of you know, uh, the Night King has his own base, the White Walkers have theirs, Night King has his generals that are out there as well, and they're going to attack you. If you go into their barren, barren land, they will attack you and you will get real losses. So don't go up there and uh, think that you're not going to get attacked because they'll rally you, they will solo attack you, they'll reinforce, they'll garrison, they'll do all that kind of stuff, okay? And you have to have, um, obviously, a certain requirements to be able to do that. Um, you're looking at a 70% chance that they will, the, the dead soldiers that you have will turn into White Walkers. So um, they're, again, they're just going to be increasing. We're going to be killing some, but then we're also going to be increasing their army just like the, it normally would. And then you look at the, um, uh, you can get certain rewards from this, which I'll show you a little bit later. Just make sure that uh, you know some of these rules as in, you know, you, can, uh, you can't you can randomly relocate into the region. You have to use a precise transfer. You do get some of those from the uh, the daily rewards that you're getting. So don't worry about, you know, having to use, uh, not getting these precise transfers back. When you do tr uh, do a precise transfer in there into the barren land, your truce will expire automatically and you'll go, in, you won't go into fervor, but your truce will expire. So you'll be unbubbled once you get in there. And also beware that you could actually be fighting amongst yourselves as too. So just be careful um, when, it, when it comes to that. Um, and then a truce cannot be used in the barren land. Um, you have to actually exit it um, as well. And sometimes, and I'm, I haven't really figured this out yet, but I was actually kicked out of the barren land after I got uh, after I took a rally. So I'm not really sure how that happened or why that happened. Maybe they do it after a certain amount of rallies that you take, but I'm not so sure about that. And now you see down here, the White Walkers are actively attacking the Lords, especially those who enter the Barren Land. White Walkers can initiate up to five rallies against the same target. So beware, you can get up to five rallies on your one time. So um, if you want to get out of there, you know, you could transfer south or something like that. And, and you, you get far enough down there, they're not going to speed up. So if you, can't, you don't want to take all five rallies, get, you know, do a, a precise transfer way south, and then wait till your fervor comes off and then bubble and you won't get hit. But if you don't, but if you want to automatically get a hit on all of them, wait till they all are you know, um, sent and then just uh, randomly port somewhere and they'll all hit you at simultaneously. Now the White Walkers can launch up to 10 solo attacks, so be careful of that as well. A lot of times they're, uh, the ones I've seen are just single troops, so nothing too crazy going on there. Um, and you'll be blessed by the seven. 90% of your uh, battle losses will be revived, which is a good thing because some of these uh, White Walkers and generals are very, very difficult, have uh, very nice stats actually, with a 10% casualty rate. So. Uh, Let's look at some of the rewards you can see in here. There's a new castle skin that's coming out, and it, you can get the top the top person in the ranks here will get a 30-day one, which gives you max, de max defense of 100,000 troops. Uh, you get total attack of 20% and the enemy army attack reduction of 10%. This, this skin is very good. I mean, you're, that is that is one of the one of the better skins that we've seen them come out with, of course. Um, a few uh, different little things here too, little item 
items and you're looking at an unyielding coupon which gives a total attack enemy total attack reduction and a marching speed bonus so that's nice as well it's a marching skin at the 30 days called the unyielding plus max it's just basically the same as this just a, kind of a little bit dub, uh, dubbed down but again very very good uh, stats on that and then a healing cost uh, of 10% so you can reduce for, for one hour so that's not too bad and then a bunch of diamonds and whatnot for there and that's for the Night King damage point reward and then you have the White Walker general damage point the only difference it seems is that the points for killing troops here so it's kind of interesting and then you have another castle here which is the sacrifice uh, which is kind of a, a lesser you know you're getting cav attack of 25 uh, enemy attack reduction and defense reduction of 5% so it's, it's good for a cav attack but it's nothing too crazy and then you're uh, the fearless coupon which is uh, a cav related as well they're both and then the heal so these may change actually too uh, they may go like go through them as you know cav infant health is something that I would uh, suspect too then you have the white walker details so you can kind of see how many troops that your alliance or your uh, your kingdom is lost plus how many white walkers were killed and all that kind of thing you can find out there's a actually there's a bunch of things going on here so this is very similar to the rewards we just talked about there are solo stages so you want to every you know you want to be able to make sure you get 10 million of these points um it, you know because there's a lot of good stuff in here a lot of good to the uh uh you know rebel leader uh, boxes here and then these books these ancient scriptures which I'm sure we're going to be using here at some point so just make sure that you get all that done um, the one thing that you want to look at and if I can find it would be the battle map so the battle map is here and as you can see you, uh, you hover over you can see white walkers there's a general you can see another some more white walkers generals um, you know, it'll, it'll, and then you can actually see here there where the Night King is there's Jon Snow where his location is you, there's some of the other um, characters in the game as well they have their own castles up there the knight's watch is up there so uh let's uh get to it get up that way so as you can see here before we go out which i was just going to do you can, the white walkers have actually started attacking this region here which uh you know and, and then it just started another timer that they're going to go after the dreadfort region next so you can see here that they're slowly moving their way south and it's that's this is this is very very kind of cool to me actually um, the, how this is how this is actually slowly progressing and it looks like uh, Daenerys Targaryen has actually appeared on the map as well so we'll check out her I haven't seen her and that's very new so um, she's here she's finally got here as well um, and, uh, then they started another countdown for that Dreadfort another uh, 20 hour and just about just about as I was about to go to the map to show you I clicked on it to uh, you know to go here and then I want to go over to the map and I was going to check and see what was happening and the Citadel of Research just came up and these three items are here as well. It says the maesters are working hard in research. Please do not lose hope. And the first one here is increase ab uh, ability increase. So the maesters have put forward a new theory which enables troops to, be, uh, to progress further. Uh, we can research deeper into their uh, into this to train better troops. So there's, I'm guessing that's the tier five and which I'm pretty sure nobody's really thrilled about, but we'll see, we'll see what happens as well. Um, so it's looking like the maesters have created a material which can burn continuously in the cold and quickly incinerate bodies of the, uh, the dead to prevent them from turning to white walkers, which will be nice. And you can see these numbers are increasing very slowly, so I think it's going to take a long time before that happens. And the maesters have discovered the white walkers weakness. The living no longer fears the white walkers, for they are no longer undefeatable. So a uh, very cool little uh, addition here. And now we have Daenerys and her castle, which just appeared here, which is uh, pretty cool looking. I mean, it's got the, uh, oh, it just disappeared. Wow. I, wow. This is, uh, this is pretty intense, everyone. I'm, that's, <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened. So looking at the map, we will go, uh, you can choose any one of these where you want to go into to take a look. We'll go to General 17 here, take a quick look at him. And as you can see, um, what's going on up north here, and then this is the barren land. This is considered the barren land. So if you come in here, your bubble's going to go off. You could be under attack immediately. You can already see attacks going on. You can see some rallies going on. You can see probably some solo attacks. You can obviously see a rally probably going on here. But you can see their, uh, you click on them, you can see their power. 12 billion power. I mean, just absolutely uh, whale. I mean, big, big as our, our biggest whales in the game. So it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. And you can see the amount of remaining troops that they have in there. You can you hover over this, and it'll show you the army bonus. So combat rate of almost 9,000. I mean, just in some of the other. And, and you can see that's really that's pretty good. But you can also see that uh, the the stats itself. Some of them are not you know particularly huge. I mean, you have. Your, the attacks overall are a little over 500 percent 
the um, you know total attack is at 400, but still when you're talking that combat rate and you add in you know that uh, my combat rate's only like 6,000, so they're going to get you know another 50% um, a total health attack and defense. So very very good, um, massive uh, power when it comes to these uh, generals. But uh, you can look at someone else too, like and they have a bubble too, so that you can't actually attack them all. But so like White Walker here 417. Still 15 billion as well, but you look at the stats, obviously the combat rate is way down to 3792, and the rest of the stats are kind of crap. So, um, but I mean, when you're attacking them though, and you're, they, have four, they have almost, you know, 480 million troops, you know, you're attacking 12 million troops every time. So you're attacking a max, a max account, basically. It's weak, a weak max account. Um, and what you can do is, as uh, to scout it, is just to send one troop in, like you would at the Treasure Seeker, and it'll give you, um, you know, uh, the formation that they have and what kind of troops they have in there. However, it doesn't always work that way because they can, they'll sometimes actually change up their formation just like you and I would if we were fighting. So that's just something interesting to, to consider. And something that's pretty cool here is that if you go over to Winterfell, you can see where Jon Snow is. You can see uh, Milsandre. You can see Sansa uh, Stark. And you can see some of these uh, northern cavalry that are up here helping to uh, defend the north. So just uh, something else you could kind of, uh, which is kind of neat. You can see, oh, there, they, there you go. Didn't really notice that. The Dothraki are here as well because Daenerys had brought them. So there's uh, something else that uh, I didn't pick up on the first time. There's Theon Greyjoy and Arya Stark. So um, they're kind of sitting off by themselves. You know, I wonder why that's going on there. And um, and then obviously the other the other alliance sits here as well. And they are not they are not bubbled or anything. You can see there's 15 billion, 400 million troops. 15 billion, 400 million, same amount for each one. So that's kind of different. And if you move just to the northwest of Winterfell, you can see the Night's Watch. So they have some castles kind of uh, that have moved down from, you know, um, you know, the wall, which is kind of neat too. So to kind of see what is happening. So they're moving down here to try to, you know, to gain, get together and to be able to try to defend um, against the White Walkers. And if you go over to where East Watch used to be along the wall, you can see that's where they broke through. And that's pretty cool. There's actually a White Walker still there uh, coming through. So that's kind of neat to see uh, that actually happening as well. Um, so kind of basically the same thing as we saw with the Army of the Battle of the Army of the Dead. The wall was broken down by the dragon. And here is the Night King. As you can see here, he has uh, obviously a different castle, one of the other castles you've seen here. So he's just kind of hanging out with uh, his White Walkers, and they're going to slowly move south. And uh, you can see some of the other attacks that are going on here, which is which is kind of crazy. So, but I'm going to show you some reports and uh, just kind of give you an idea of what, uh, what happened earlier. So I did a small rally of about 3.3 million. Uh, troops into their full, uh, you know, almost 13 million troops, um, which is kind of crazy in that respect. So good thing that they actually have a lot less, um, you know, casualty rate. They, they, and they're, they're reviving 90% of the troops instead of the 60%, which was, uh, uh, you know, the, the battle rate as well. So it's nice to have that because, as you can see, I love we lost um, about 8,400 troops. Uh, something you probably want to do, which is actually not bad, is, you know, you can see here we used Tier 3 and we actually lost some Tier 4, is to probably put Tier 1 up front um, wouldn't be bad as well because they're cheap to, uh, you know, to train and also cheap to heal too, so you're not really using speed ups to be able to do that, have to do that. But as you can see here, you know, I took a uh, pretty good uh, bang there with that, with uh, my attack here, and then uh, of course if you get enough people in there you can kind of spread it out a little bit, and always make sure you put a, um, you know, a, uh, meat shield in front there because you because like you can see here um, this buried life did not do that and lost some uh, tier fours um, that could have been prevented if you really wanted to do so um, then you the you can also check you check their lineup you can see that he had a, a, a cab spear um, defense and then you can actually see the dragon skills which is kind of neat too just like anything else so it's just, so it's just going to be kind of an AI type thing you can see the uh, you know all bows on the wall here too except for the one cab so a little bit kind of a different defense of what they're kind of doing which is uh which is a little bit odd but kind of interesting and you can also check out the battle report and see that we had the reinforcement skill and the reroute skill and then if you go down at the very bottom it'll show you uh, everything that we talked about having a 10 percent bat you know casualty rate um as well and then any other uh you know the skills or effects that may have uh may have taken place so I hope this video helped you and uh, I hope you understand a little bit about just, you know, clicking on some of these, doing a rally attack, doing a regular attack, however you want to do it. Make sure you scout them first 
with a single soldier and before you do so check out what their you know um you know check out what their rates are or you could just actually just check right here i apologize you don't even have to do that but you could check out what their formation is which may help you if they as long as they don't change it but finally find the weaker ones rally them don't try to solo them because you're going to have you're facing million you know 12 million or plus troops in there so you need to be uh, be very careful in that respect if you have any questions and i'm sure we're going to i'm sure i'm going to have some questions about what's going on but until next time back out